So, uh, hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to show you a game I bought um, recently, Franchise Hockey Manager 6. Um, I've started a, uh, like a, when they say game, they're talking about like, you know, like your franchise, you know, games for a season, going from season to season. So I started one where I'm the, uh, general manager of the Islanders, my beloved Islanders. So, uh, and we're right now we're in the preseason, which is fine. I'm just going to show it to you, show you what it looks like. Um, I like it. There are things I like about it, but I think probably overall, I still would have to say I like, um, I like Stratomatic hockey better. You can see right here, you got me. That's me right there in my Islanders hat and my blue uh, shirt and white tie. So uh, we've got, let's see here. I guess our uh, where we'll play in the Blackhawks is our next exhibition game. So um, I will play a game. And uh, let's see. Continue now. We have um, Trotz is listed as our coach, which he is in real life, the real life coach of the Islanders. And um, I have the computer coaching. Now you can you can take over as the coach and the general manager, but in this um, particular. Um, a version of the game or the game that I'm doing, the whatever career game that I'm doing, um, I am just a general manager uh, because I didn't want to, well, first of all, this, I just got it. So I'm like learning it anyway. And I didn't want to, you know, have to mess around with, you know, putting guys in different uh, on different lines and, uh, you know, when somebody else, when someone gets injured and someone else comes up, putting that, trying to figure out juggling all the lines. So I don't have to do any of that. The, uh, the computer coach does all that. So if somebody gets injured, um, we bring them up, we bring up someone else and then the, and then the computer coach just automatically puts him in wherever. So, Let's get the game started just to get you a little look at what it looks like. This is how you start. We've got, they show the goalies down here in the bottom. Uh, uh, Malcolm Subban is going to be in net for the Blackhawks. And we've got Thomas Grice. And uh, what it does is it goes through and it'll show you what's going on. And then every once in a while it stops to do a... Uh, do like a highlight of what just happened like it's doing right now so and then over here you've got you know the islanders statistics that are updated in real time as things happen So, I mean, it has aspects of it I like, you know, like it shows the, the big scoreboard up here and uh, you don't get, you don't quite get that with the, uh, with the Stratomatic Hockey. It's kind of, it's kind of small and it's hard to see, but uh, it doesn't, but it. You know, in the Stratomatic Hockey, it'll ask you, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you want to intimidate the guy? This game, it doesn't seem like it even really does that. So. So you can hear the crowd noise in the background. It's like I said, it's it's kind of nice, but I don't know that I would say it's um, exactly. I wouldn't say it's better than Stratomatic Hockey.
but I'm still on the fence about it. We'll see. So what do you, I mean, you know, leave a comment down below. You guys think this, if you're familiar with the Stratomatic hockey, do you like the Stratomatic hockey better? I've, I've put many, many games on my, uh, on my channel, so you can go back and watch any of those if you want and then compare it. There's a goal. Goal scored by Mat Ali Mata. So, I guess you have to hit play again. You have to do that in the Stratomatic hockey, too. So. But it's kind of nice here. It gives you, like, an update of what's going on. You know, I mean, because it's a highlight. It's really a highlight-driven game, just like Stratomatic hockey is. If there was a game that could, like, show the guys skating around on the ice, like all of this that's happening right here, if there was a game that would show this happening on the ice surface and combine all of this, you know, with this nice scoreboard and the logos, that would be the ultimate hockey game. But um, a lot of the hockey games are kind of, you know, highlight driven more than just seeing the action going on. So, you know, we got another highlight in uh, on the way here. So this is an exhibition game, so I'll probably just show the first period and then uh, just so you get a feel for it. Um, and then I'll probably see, uh, sim to the end. And then I'll show you a couple of other things, and the other screens and things that you can do. So. Penalty elbowing Ryan Pulak. So, I mean, we can't catch a break here. We're down one nothing, and now we got a penalty. Okay, we got a hit play again. Another highlight. Kind of cool down here, too, how they got their game rating, 45.4 for Grice and 56.9 for Subban, although I don't really know what those ratings mean. I guess it's, like, rated on a scale of, I don't even know. I don't even want to guess, but obviously the higher the number, the better. I also have the clock on the slowest speed, um, really because because um, I like to you know I like to see what's going on over here. All of these, you know, when they update what the highlight is, when the clock just zips by, then it it tends to be that so does the description of the game kind of just zips by and. You really miss what's going on. Um, 
So it's hard to keep up with it. So I didn't want that to happen. So we're uh, we're drawing down near the end of the first period. Another highlight. One thing I like about the hockey, and I'm not even sure why this is, but this is how it is for me. Because this is made by out of the park, uh, um, out of the park productions, the same one that makes out of the park baseball. But just for some reason, the limited times that I played out of the park baseball, it didn't seem like it was realistic to me. Like it was based on reality, at least statistically. But with the hockey, even if it's not, I really don't, it doesn't matter to me if it's not, you know. Like Grice really had a good season. He, he's really, he's actually a good goalie and he had a goals against average that was around 2.3 or 2.4 something like that and uh, he had a high save percentage well if he went through a season and he didn't have that for whatever reason it wouldn't matter to me i would think okay well he just didn't have a good season but if you but if you take like you flip it over and say i'm taking the white Sox and out of the park baseball and tim anderson had that great year that he had if Tim Anderson hit like 260, 265, when he really hit 335, that would make me mad. I would be like, you know, this shouldn't happen. There's no way this should happen. But if you flip it and you're talking about hockey, I really, it really wouldn't matter to me. And I don't know why that is. Just, just the nature of the sports, I suppose. But like Barzal, you know, let's say Barzal had 35 goals. Well, if I do a replay of this game and Barzal only has like 15 or 20 goals, I'm not going to care. Which I know is kind of strange. Be because it's hockey, I really wouldn't care. But in baseball, it would matter to me that that didn't happen. And I'm not saying in the baseball, like, they have to hit exactly what they did or, you know, really, really close. But they have to be somewhere in the neighborhood. And you could hear that the puck hit the, uh, um, hit the post. That's kind of cool. So now we're coming in under two minutes left in the first period. Under a minute left. Another highlight. One last highlight to take us out. High sticking on Ali Mata, the guy who scored the goal. And that'll do it. So we're going to go sim end. Yes. And we lost three to one. Now, if you go to um, end game, it'll show the uh, statistics for everybody. And so you continue.
And now you don't have the crowd noise anymore, which is nice. And Josh Bailey actually got second star in that game. And like I said, that's a pre, that's a preseason game. It's a you know an exhibition game. It's not I, the season hasn't actually started yet for us. So you go to the manager home, and there I am again. We're gonna play the Caps next. That'll be an interesting game. So you can see over here the standings. They they have you know games played zero because it's all preseason, so they're not counting any of the games. Um, salary cap reminder: We're under the cap right now. Um, you can watch. You can get the news trade between Carolina and LA. Cal Clutterbuck ready to return to the ice. So, you know, I guess I'll have to deal with that at some point. Um, so you you get the news here, and you can you can go through and you can uh, factor in what kind of news stories you want. You know, NHL news. Um, like here, manager news, I think. Manager home. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Forget where it was. Manager options, maybe? Yeah, right here. You got your new subscription settings. And all I get is National Hockey League, the Islanders, and the Stanley Cup playoffs. Because there's they put in a lot of other stuff, like World Junior Hockey and um, whatever. Um, you know, people that are leading the different races for... Um, the Vezina Trophy or something like that. I don't really care about all that, and I don't want to have all that clogging up my uh, notification boxes. So I just keep it really short and sweet. The NHL, the Islanders, and the Stanley Cup playoffs. Um, I guess I could take over. Uh, well, I don't know. Right-click. Yeah. So they've got different options, different things you can do. I mean, these, these are how I've got it set up right now. I've got scouting done by the assistant. That means the computer. Setting the training is the assistant. Setting the lineups and tactics is the assistant. Roster moves, demotions, promotions is assistant. And then I just do the transactions. I initiate and react to trades, and I draft players. So uh, that's all I'm going to be doing. So I don't know. Um, in fact, I do know how much they're paying me to do that. Let's see. where There it is. Salary. $1.95 million they're paying me to just do these three things. So that's a, that's a good salary for, you know, kind of like my real job. Get a lot of money for not really doing a lot. So... Um, that's how that is. You'll get, you know, as the season progresses, you'll get like open offers here. You'll get, you know, you'll see players that are on waivers. You get the news highlights, um, that kind of thing. So, like I said, it's a kind of cool game. I'm still on the fence whether I, you know, if I do like a season, if you're familiar with the fact that I've done the North Stars season. Um, and I'm right now in the, in the midst of doing the North Stars playoffs with the Stratomatic Hockey. I don't know if I would do a season like that again using um, this, um, this Hockey Manager 6, uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 6, or, I, or Stratomatic. Um, I have to think about that. Um, one thing about this, and it's similar to the baseball, the out-of-the-park baseball, is you get every season going back to 1917. So I could go back, I could take one of the teams, you know, one of the original six in, in the league where there was only six. 
I could go back and take the North Stars, just like I am with the Stratomatic Hockey right now. So you have a lot of options that way. I could take a team from the 80s when I loved all the players from the 80s. So it's kind of cool. I'd like to, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're familiar with the Stratomatic Hockey, do you like this? Do you still like the Stratomatic Hockey better than you like this? Or do you like this better? I'd be interested to know. Um, and just another reminder, if you um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. If you have any ideas for things you'd like to see. If you want to see me do Franchise Hockey Manager 6 season, let me know that. Um, you know, leave a like below, leave a comment. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.